All right, functions. Translate tables and graphs into equations. We can start with a, with a table and come up with a graph or equation. We can start with an equation and come up with a table and graph, or we can start with a graph and come up with the other two. So we'll be working with slope-intercept form, which of course is y equals mx plus b, a basic chart, and a graph. We'll be going back and forth and translating these. Okay, in this example I'm going to start with a graph, and I'm going to come up with my uh, equation. So the first thing I want to do is identify the y-intercept. The y-intercept is where x equals zero. In this case, the y-intercept is at negative two. I went down two spaces. So I know that my b, or my y-intercept, is negative two. So at this point, I have y equals something x minus two. So in order to find my m, which is my slope, I will find another point, and I'm going to find this point right here. And I will rise 1, 2. So my rise over run will give me my m, my slope. And my rise is 2. And my run will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 spaces. So my rise over run is 2 6, which of course reduces to 1 3rd. So my equation is y equals 1 3rd x minus 2, with 1 3rd being the slope and negative 2 being the y intercept. Okay, so I have y equals 1 3rd x minus 2, and now I'm going to make my t chart. So I'll use negative 2, and we'll move over here. I'll put negative 2 in place of x, so I have 1 third times negative 2 minus 2. And 1 third times negative 2 is 2 thirds, and then minus 2 is y equals negative 2 and 2 thirds. Now, I'll substitute negative 1 for x, and when I substitute negative 1 for x, I get y equals negative two and one third. And when I put zero in for x, I get y is negative two. And you can see the pattern. The pattern is increasing. So my next will be negative one and two thirds. It's increasing by one third. And finally, if we put x is two, we would get y equals negative one and one third. And there you have it. Okay, in this example we're going to start with the equation of y equals x plus two. And we're going to make a table. So if x is negative two, y is zero. If x is negative one, y is one. If x is zero, y is two. And you can see the pattern three, four. Now, we've got an equation, we've got a table, now we're going to graph it. So, we always start at our origin. We find our x value first. In this case, our x value is negative two. And then we're going to stay at zero because y is zero. Now, second point, x is negative one and y is one x is 0, y is 2, x is 1, y is 3, and finally x is 2, 1, 2, y is 1, 2, 3, 4. And we'll draw our line. And there's our graph. Now notice the slope is positive. Our slope is is 1. You can see the slope of 1. We know it's a slope because there's nothing written in front of the x and it's positive. So it's a positive 1x and we don't write 1 so we just positive 1 slope. So we started with the equation of a line. We put it on a t-chart. 
and we graft it, and that's the three steps. Okay, in this example, we're going to start with a table, and we'll find our equation, and then we'll show how we graft it. I've already grafted, but we'll show how we graft it. All right, so if we start with the table, we have x equals negative 2, y 5, x negative 1, y 3. Here's what we want to see right here. x equals 0, y equals 1. Well, when x equals 0, y is 1, that's our y-intercept. So that gives us y equals mx plus 1. Now, in order to find m, we can simply plug in any two points and find y. So if I plug in x equals 2, and I have plus 1, and I have, if x equals 2, y is negative 3. So I have negative 3, and I'm going to add, excuse me, I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides. So that's going to leave me with negative 4 equals m times 2. The 1's cancel. So now I have a simple multiplication equation. I'll divide both sides by 2. And I get m equals negative 2. So now I have my slope, and I can rewrite this. I'll write it over here. y equals negative 2 x plus 1. Okay, so I have my t chart, I have an equation for the line, and now I'm going to show you how I made my graph. All I'm doing is taking these points right here. So if x is negative 2, I'll go 1, 2, and up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Put my point. Negative 1, and up 3. 1, 2, 3. Put my point. 0, and up 1. And of course, that's my y-intercept. I can look back over here at my equation of a line, and yes, it's plus 1, my y-intercept, right here. X is always 0 at the y-intercept. Then I have x equals 1 and y is negative 1, the point there. And then my last point is x equals 2, 1, 2, and y equals negative 3, 1, 2, 3. So I plotted those five points and I drew my line, and that's the slope, a negative 2 slope with a y-intercept of 1.